Hello, this is Dr. Gay. I want to talk about the patellar position. So the patella can be in a neutral position or it can be a little bit too high, which we call patella alta, or too low, which we call patella baja. And the other two configurations, too high or too low, can cause abnormal mechanics of the patella femoral mechanism. And so this is a neutral position patient. We're looking in the sagittal T1 image here. We see the patellar height and we see the patellar tendon length, two different measurements here. So the patellar height should be less than 1.5 times the length of the uh, patellar tendon. So if you measure the patellar height and it is three, the patellar tendon should be less than 4.5. So whatever the patellar height is, multiply it by 1.5. And as long as that length of the patellar tendon is less than that, you're in good shape. So this one is 3.7 and the patellar tendon is 4.8. So that's less than 1.5 times the height. And also the tendon should be at least as tall as the patella. So it's got to be at least 3.7 centimeters. So again, this is just a nice normal position here, the patella. This is another patient. This is a borderline high position. It's not quite elevated, but it's getting up near the top of the normal. The patellar tendon is 3.1 roughly, and this is 4.6, so it's just, mm -hmm. just under 1.5 times the length, but within normal limits. Now this patient has a patella that measures about 4.5 centimeters in height, and so we expect the patellar tendon to be at least that height, but instead it's less, it's four centimeters. So this is patella baja, B-A-J-A. -A. And again, this can produce abnormal stress or mechanics in the patella femoral mechanism. And occasionally I'll see patella femoral arthropathy, and I assume it's related to this, but lots of people with just a normal position also have significant uh, patella femoral disease. Like this patient here, they have a neutral position, 3.4, 4.3. It's greater than 3.4 and it's less than one and a half times, but they have lots of arthritis. So this is not a definite indi indicator that um, they will have arthritis. And again, you can see the arthritis without um, abnormal position. Now here's one last one. This is a case of patella alta. Now we see this is 3.6 and this is 6. And so this is greater than 1.5 times and we call this patella alta. And this patient also did have some abnormal mechanics of stress. Sometimes they have lateral subluxation of the patella with this or fatty impingement. This, had, um, this patient had a flat patellar articular surface, and they also did have fatty impingement. And again, this is a case of patella alta. Thank you very much.